Hi guys, Ushin Hoi here, bringing you free tutorials on how to create a website. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up a domain name and website hosting with SiteGround. I use SiteGround for all of my domain name and hosting needs and would 100% recommend them to you. So let's go take a look at how to set that all up. So we go to ozinhoi.com or ushinhoi.com. This is my website here. So when you come here, go to quick links in the menu and then click on SiteGround domains. So clicking on SiteGround domains will bring you to the SiteGround site. And here you'll be able to type in your domain name and choose your domain extension. So you can see the main extensions, there are loads of different ones you can choose from. There's the standard ones like the .com, which is most popular. Then you've got country specific ones as well. So if you don't see your country one here, so for example, I'm from Ireland, we use .ie, SiteGround can't register .ie domain names. So you'll have to find a different registrar to register your country specific domain name for you. But I'm just gonna go with a .com here. Then you can type in your desired domain name. So I'm just gonna put in ozinhoi.com, even though I know it's gonna be unavailable. I just wanna show you what it's like when you type an unavailable one. So as you can see, it's not available. So they give you a few suggestions on how to change it, or you can just put in your own change and see if that works. Just click proceed. And once it's available, they'll bring you to step two where you choose your plan. So as you can see, there are three plans, startup, grow big and go geek. Startup, if you're going to have one website, I'd recommend that. Grow big, if you're going to have more than one website, I'd recommend that. And then Go Geek, I wouldn't recommend starting out with this one unless you know that you're going to be needing the space. But I'd recommend going with Grow Big if you're planning on having more than one website. And you can always upgrade when needed to the Go Geek plan. So we'll just take a look at the startup because I imagine most of you guys watching the video will just be making one website. So you just click Order Now. And this will bring you to step three, where you review and complete. So this is where you put in your desired account information, so that your email address and the password that you want to use for your account, and then your personal information in terms of your address, your phone number, and your name. Then your payment information. So they accept Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, and you can just put in your payment information there. Your billing address you can have as the same, or you can change it by unchecking the box. Your hosting services, the plan you've selected is a startup plan. If you want to change, you can change it here. We're going to keep it the same. The data center, you want to have your data center as close as possible to the majority of the people visiting your website. So if you predict that the majority of the people visiting your website will be in Canada, choose USA, or in Ireland, choose United Kingdom. So I'm going to choose Ireland. Then the period, so this is the period that you want to have the web hosting. So as you can see at the moment, there's a great discount. It's 2.48 per month, whereas the regular is 9.95. Remember, these are excluding VAT. So if you get the 36, you get that discounted price for those 36 months. So I highly recommend that. Um, do not do the trial because there's a 30 day money back guarantee with SiteGround. So if you don't like the hosting services within 30 days, you can get a refund from them. So the trial doesn't make any sense. So I'd recommend going with the 36 months and then domain registration, that's what you're doing. Domain privacy would not get this because nowadays, so they're talking about the Whois services. So if you go to whois.com and you can search for a domain name. So I've just gone to my domain name, alwaysinhoi.com and you can see all of the information that used to be available has now been redacted for, for privacy. And this is because of some EU legislation that has come in. And that's made the domain privacy option here obsolete. So we don't need to select that anymore. And then you just click confirm. We don't need the SG site scanner. And um, we can just click confirm. And if you want to receive news and special offers, you can check that as well. And then just pay and you're good to go. You've got your domain name and your web hosting set up. Congratulations. And there you have it. Now you know all you need to do to set up a domain name and web hosting with SiteGround. Now it's time for you to take action. How did you get on? Let me know down in the comments. This video is part of my series of free tutorials 
on how to make a website. To make sure you don't miss out on any videos, hit the subscribe button and turn that bell icon to all. That will mean you'll get a notification every time I publish a video on YouTube. See you in the next video and happy building.